All right, it's a nice day. Nice and cool for July. Uh, yeah. Okay, pretty decent day. Yesterday, let's see, we got that back together pretty much. Wow, what a job. And uh, today we'll do a little tightening and get the exhaust back on, start putting things back together. Suppose I better put that lid on first before something falls down in there that wouldn't be good start getting this thing reassembled all right we've got let me get this laid here first all right we got some more things buttoned up we got the clutch and low speed deal hooked up uh, this is my new uh, thing for to come up with a brake light. I got that on there kind of preliminary to see how it works. Um, got some more stuff tightened up. Got the da dash and firewall hooked back up. Had to dig the battery out, unhook all that just so I could get one screw that fell down in there. Uh, broke that getting it off had to fix that let's see what else I just got to tighten up all this stuff yet hook up the fuel line a few more things tomorrow and I'll be able to uh, start it up and adjust these bands or you know see how close I am see how they're working so yeah we shall see what we shall see maybe tomorrow or maybe I'll <laughs> maybe I'll mow the grass because you know the neighbors are giving me the stink eye every time they walk by but as you and I both know this is way more important than grass, that kind of grass. Bye. All right, here we are. What is today? I think today's a Tuesday. Could be a Thursday. I'm pretty sure it's not a Friday. I'm gonna go with Tuesday. Anyways, uh, yesterday or whenever the last time oh it wasn't yesterday I did yard work yesterday anyways we got that far on getting the tranny back together and today we've got to hook a battery back up um, just a lot of things to hook back together because I'd take a lot of stuff apart to do that and in the mail, I got a new toy that tells me that it is 73 degrees outside in the air. And that's for shooting at the radiator and head and all that. These are really cheap. And uh, I think it's going to be pretty handy. I think I spent nine dollars on this maybe something like that it's got a I don't know if you can see that or not but it's got a laser on it too so you know what you're pointing it at that, that bolt is 74 degrees it's fun to play with if nothing else so that can is 75, 74, 76, 
76 degrees. And the head on here is 73. So you see how you can get carried away playing with this. So, all right. Let's get back to putting things back the way they're supposed to be. Well, I was going to test out these new bands. Going to start it and back it out, but uh, I just went in and looked at the radar, and it doesn't look very promising. I see little drips in the puddles here. I'd rather not get this out in the rain right away. So I think we'll fool around with this today and see if we can get it mounted on here. This is this is temporary because I do have the spare tire rack over there. But you know that rim needs a lot of work and I gotta have a tire and a tube and a flap and all that. So that's probably I want to say winter or maybe next year's project. Right now we're just concerned with getting this thing road legal so I can see what it's going to take to get a license. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. And part of that means addressing the affordable housing crisis with investing in more affordable housing. All right, I think we know which one's which now. This is break and this is uh, run. So, all right. All right, well this is what we've got. Admittedly quite crude. Uh, I think some black paint will help it immensely, but you know it just needs to be on there for now. I didn't want to take a lot of time making this really nice and then just take it all off and you know put uh, put that on there. So that's my excuse for my butchery. I like that word. It seems to fit me very well. Butchery. Before the break, we were talking about yeah, well, good enough. I don't, I don't think we'll be headed to Pebble Beach with this anytime soon, so I'm pretty happy. All right, I'm going to paint them bits, and I'm going to start stringing some wires. our switch for the brake comes down here wires go along the frame and then out to here comes up underneath the firewall little thing there to kind of hold it and then around to the other side I still have to hook up the main power but uh, it seems to work so that's always nice that was kind of fun uh, it was a nice reprieve from trying to put that hogshead back on because that sucked. So maybe tomorrow we can back this thing out. Not sure. Got our, got our dehumidifier water here ready to go in. <sighs> All that jazz. We're getting more wires here. But anyway, I'm glad I've got that hooked up and the tail light. Now, tomorrow, if it's still raining and I can't go outside, we'll we'll try these headlights. 
and uh, see how that works. All right, I'll see you the next time. Well, it was a nice day until I came out here. Uh, before I show you the car, just know that today was supposed to be the day I would start it, back it out here and adjust my bands and be on my merry way. Well, tops off of there, pans off the bottom. Yeah, didn't quite work out that way. Somehow, some idiot, I don't know who it could have been, probably me, dropped this into the pan when he was putting the hog set on. I remember I was using this for a spacer uh, on the dashboard, which it's back together. Obviously, I didn't need it. Yep, I wondered what that was in there. So I ended up having to go through the pan and get my arm down in there and I got a hold of it. Oh brother. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Now I just got to put it back together. A lot of swearing. Oh yeah. Yep. Air turned blue in here for a while. I didn't know what it was. I thought, what the hell could I have dropped in there? Because I kept looking at all these parts and counting them and going, yeah, yeah, it's there, it's there, it's there. What can it be? Well, that's what it was. All right. I'll, uh, I'll come back when there's better news. All right, I'm just going to sit down on this bucket. We'll go over my two-day nightmare here. As I said before, somehow, I don't know how, but somehow I got that, that shim, metal shim, fell down inside the hog's head. Made a hell of a racket when I started it. Hopefully I didn't hurt nothing, but uh, I had to take the pan off the engine and snake my arm back there into the bell housing. Got my fingers on it and got it pulled out. And so, didn't have a gasket for the pan, of course, so I went to the auto place and uh, got some gasket material it's a nice easy flat gasket so it wasn't real hard to make anyways <clears throat> tomorrow I will pour some oil down that and uh, put the bolts back in and I'll pour the rest of the oil down through there got an oil change out of the deal Oil looked fine, wasn't any water in it or anything like that. So that was okay. Um, yeah. Tomorrow we will do that. I think today I'll just kind of fart around a little bit and then go back in the house. Maybe do a little uh, wiring while I'm out here. All right. Well, it's a nice day. Today we're going to see if all our work was for nothing or if it actually accomplished what we needed. We'll get this button back up, some oil in it, and start it up. See what happens. That's all I can do. We got it outside. Everything seems to be uh, copacetic there on the bands. I think I'm going to run it up and down the street here a little bit just to kind of see, you know, how, how it really is. Then I'll pull it in and uh, 
Uh, let's see, I got the I got the garage cleaned up. So now I can concentrate on less involved tasks. Let's just say that. So yeah. All right. I got a little oil leak up there on the old uh, uh, oil line going up to the front. I'll have to put some kind of a, I think I've got a new gasket over there for it. 
We don't seem to be leaking profusely out of the top or the bottom. I was getting, uh, uh, let's see, what was I getting? I was getting like 100 degrees at the bottom of the radiator and 150 at the top. And that was after, you know, going up and down here. And I think it's, see, what is it outside? 76 right now, or close. Um, all the bearings are staying cool. Um, head temperatures to, to something when I was driving. Let's see what it is now. 236, 272, 220, yeah, 220, what do we got up here, 166, of course it's not running now, and uh, let me see if I can shoot it on there, 124, so that's pretty good, 152, 177, Yeah. Pretty good. New uh, new bands are a little grabby, but I guess that's to be expected for a while. Um, just get used to it, they say, and it'll straighten out. That's what I've read anyway. So now we're moving on to bigger and better things, headlights, stuff like that. Maybe you can get close to going down to the courthouse. See if the what kind of shenanigans I have to go through for that. Yeah, she works. All right, that's it for today.